And welcome to Larry Reed Live. It's the middle of the day, I know, and normally we are not on this time of the day, but we have a special treat for each and every one of you that are watching here on the Larry Live platform. If you are watching me on Facebook, YouTube, or on Periscope and Twitter, I want you to take a moment right now and share with everybody and let everybody know that we are on and we have a special treat for you. I told you guys, if you have been watching me, I told you about this great movie called Overcomer and I went and you probably have already seen my reaction video the the little ladies that ran up beside me we talked about the video it was really really intense and you probably saw my, saw my friend Shamako coming out there speaking it does <laughs> It's so crazy. But it was a wonderful movie. I was really touched. I lost my man card. I was crying. It was just it was just terrible and just horrible. But I want you guys to go for the second week. It came out August the 23rd, 2019. It broke the box office. Came in at number three. This week we want it to come in at number one. And we need your help. And for those of you, the thousands of you that watch Larry Live, I have a treat for you today. The star, in my opinion, of the movie was the actual little sweet, cute little girl. She's 16 years, years old. You guys know I have two daughters. And to me, she was the standout, one of the standouts in this movie. And her name is Aaron Wright Thompson. She happens to be out of North Kakalaki. I don't know Carolina Wright from where I am from. I'm going to show you a one minute trailer of this show. This movie, you know I call them the picture shows at the movie house. So I want you to go to the movie house this week and watch the picture show called Overcomers. So I'm going to show you a one minute trailer. When I come back, we have Aaron Wright Thompson on the phone and we're going to talk about this movie for about 10 to 15 minutes. So take a moment right now and share it with everybody so that you can have this Larry Reed Live exclusive. Be right back. I'm down three coaches, but I do think I have a solution for cross country. No, I don't even like running. Uh, why would anyone want to do this? You are my best option. The only thing that matters. I had one girl show up and she's got asthma. Oh, you mean Hannah Scott. Why well, have a season with one runner? One runner matters. Thomas, you got time for a visit? Hello, coach. So you changed sports and you still got no team. Well, that's sad even for me. Your life? is worth so much more than this. To who? What have you allowed to define me? Where's your team? She's right there. Is that? That's Hannah. Run, Hannah! Overcomer, rated PG, in theaters August 23rd. Overcomer tickets are on sale right now. Take your family, your loved ones, and I told y'all in my reaction video to go ahead and take those family members that ain't living right. You know what I'm talking about. The ones that just look like they're on the way to hell. <laughs> they living like hell on two legs. Take them over there to the movie house to watch the picture show, and hopefully their heart will get pricked and they turn back to God and doing what's right. Oh, Lord have mercy. I don't know what's going on in this world. For those of you that are not familiar with Larry Live, we are entertainment news and talk show. So whatever becomes public, we talk about. And some of the things that have really came up and we really hate to even talk about is fatherlessness. Fathers out of the home, not there with their children and leaving daddy little girls daddyless leaving little boys without their father. And this movie highlights that. It really shows how all of these characters are overcoming their own fears, their own difficulties, particularly Aaron Wright Thompson, who plays the role. And she done it wonderfully. And this was her first time in a movie. Her very first time in a movie. And she did marvelous and excellently. And we saw... On this show, as it relates to Brian McKnight and his two children, Gregory Allen Williams and his 11 children, also E. Dewey Smith of the House of Hope and his child outside of Willock, and William Murphy 
his child out of wedlock and how they're all struggling. This is the over the over the Kendrick brothers have hit the nail on the head. I think it's very prophetic that at this time, running parallel with the topics of this show, they address fatherlessness front and center. Bravo to the Kendrick brothers. And actually one of them played the role of John Harrison. All right, so we have Aaron on the phone right now and we are about to talk with her first off Erin how are you doing today I'm good how about you I, I can't complain I'm gonna tell you after seeing that movie there was so much positive energy that was in that movie I left there full full up with positive oh, energy <laughs> I did and I didn't know I was actually talking to some of the production and they told me that this was your very first role Yes, it was. Okay, so how long have you been acting? I've been acting for seven years, actually. And what part of North Carolina are you from? I live in Sanford, North Carolina. Okay, I'm from a little small town that is called Pikeville. It's outside of Goldsboro, where Seymour Johnson Air Force Base is. And Sanford is actually about 30 minutes from Fayetteville, which is where I used to live, where Fort Bragg is. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm very familiar with where you are from. You put North Carolina on the map in a wonderful way. Now, now tell me the parallels. Now, I know some of the parallels between the character that you play. Now, what's her name again in the movie? Her name's Hannah Scott. Okay, Hannah Scott. Okay, the role of Hannah in the movie. I'd see some parallels with you because you're actually athletic, and Hannah was a discovered that she was a runner and a and an athlete like her her dad. And so, what other parallels? Mm -hmm. Tell me some of the things in this role pl playing Hannah Scott that really w hit home for you. Well, I think just as a teenager in general. In my early teens, I would always try to be like everybody else and try to fit in with the crowd. And at first, Hannah just doesn't understand herself. And that was, I was at that point in my life at one point. And so whenever I got on set and I figured out what the movie was about when I read the script, I saw, I was like, okay, so I've learned a lot of things from the script. And I've learned that God loves me and he loves who I am because he made me who I am and I'm his child. So I learned that I don't have to be like anybody else anymore or try to conform and fit into a box that I just don't fit in. That is something that I noticed. I have a 14-year-old and also a 12-year-old, and this is something I'm really trying to preach to them now and get them to follow their dreams and focus in in the way that you have. At 16 years old, you already know your purpose. You're comfortable in your own skin, and now you are winning and helping other young girls come into their best self. Now, how, how do you feel about being somewhat of an example to these young girls? I feel honored because I'm like, if you have ever talked to me whenever I got, before I got the movie role, I would just tell you I'm a kid from Stanford. I'm just trying to be like everybody else and not trying to be myself. So now to know that I've reached a point where I am okay with who I am and I'm confident with who I am, I'm excited to help girls learn who they are with God and mm. for them to have eternal confidence. Hmm. Well, Aaron, how did you get there? How did you get to that space from being that space of not having the confidence and, and not following and following the crowd to now having confidence, knowing your purpose and not following the crowd? Yeah, well, I read Ephesians 1 and 2, and then I watched Alex and Stephen really dig deeper into it. Mm -hmm. And after I watched them dig deeper into it, I was like, okay. So I, I stopped myself for a second. I was like, Aaron, God made you who you are. God loves you. He says that he loves you. So just stop. I, I have to remind myself daily to stop trying to be like other people. It's not like I'm perfect at it yet, but mm -hmm. I'm still working on it, and I definitely feel better than I did before. Wow. And it came through your acting skills. The moment in the movie, I know the significant moments for me, but I want to know from you when you, Aaron, were playing Hannah, what were, if it's just one or maybe two, these most significant moments in the movie to you? The most significant moments were when Hannah figured out who she was. I think that was the exact day whenever I played Hannah. That part 
that, that, the time that we shot the scene, that day that we shot the scene, mm. that was the exact day that I learned, okay, stop trying to be like everybody else. Mm. That's when it changed my perspective, and I had Whoa. to learn that I am great enough, and I don't have to act like other people. So playing the role of Hannah actually ministered to you. Yes, it did. And also when she forgave her dad, I think forgiveness is such a big thing in your life and anybody's life. And to know that even somebody who wasn't there for her and now who's trying to be there for her and she gets to forgive them, that just shows everybody that we have the power to forgive. Hmm, the power to let go, the power to forgive, the power to move on. One of the things that we have been dealing yeah. with here on the show is from the standpoint of these children that have been forgotten. I call it abandoned and buried alive. We had Scrap Daily on from Love and Hip Hop come on and talk about it. And now we have somebody uh, who I think is just as great named Aaron Wright Thompson who was talking about it as well. What would be the message or the encouragement that you will give to some of these young children who are old enough to watch this and some who will be in about three years will be able to see what Aaron Wright Thompson said to them being that their father is not legitimizing them and not in their life yeah well I think that if you look at everybody's life and people who follow God especially everybody's life works out and God is always there for him, and his timing is perfect. God is the greatest father that we could ever have, and God will never leave you. God is going to let your life work out. So just stop trying to write the story. Let him write the story because that's literally his job, and he's going to make sure that you're okay in the end. Hmm. Are you looking forward to being a mom one day and being there for your child? Yes, I'm, I do want to be a mom. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're going to make a great mom just like you are a great actor. Thank you so much for taking this time to speak to us and tell, encourage the people that are watching, tell them why they should go and watch the Overcomer movie. Everybody who's watching this show, I believe that you should go watch Overcomer because it gives you a sense of encouragement and it also gives you confidence to know who you are and to know that nobody can change that. So you guys need to go to the movie house and watch the picture show. <laughs> You said that just like a L R L. Thank you so much for calling in and speaking <laughs> with us. Thank you for having me. All right, God bless you. Same to you. All right, you heard it straight from Aaron Wright Thompson's mouth. She said, "Go to the movie house, and you better watch this here. This here." picture show and y'all make sure y'all tag every deadbeat pastor daddy that you know near and far i only care if there ain't no pastor they deadbeat and they somebody daddy they're not in their life send them this link and then pay for their ticket to go see the overcomer movie because i think it might prick their heart and it might come to their mind you know what me sending my money is not good enough it don't even matter that the grandma and the mama and them is upset. Because we see this in the movie. Grandma and mama and them upset. I have got to do what I'm supposed to do in the life of my child. And while watching this movie, you're going to, let me tell you, it start off a little slow. It does. About 10, 15 minutes, I'm like, oh, Lord, I'm going to go. But then I look back at that movie and actually called the person that was telling me to review the movie. I said, look, da 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 I said, it should have done this, should have this. And I was comparing it to the war room, you know, because it's the same makers of war room. But then by the time I came in there and I finished taking my um, leak, I went, <laughs> came back in there and I sat down and I came out and said, now they got to do something. And it's almost like, it, maybe two minutes, it got me. And stuff started breaking open and coming in and come. And then you see a moment where Hannah, we know now, Aaron, finds herself. And she finds her identity looking in the eyes of God. And you guys, it happens like that for some people. Some people, they realize their identity when they bring themselves up or, or their power, their purpose. When they hit a calamity, bring themselves up from the bottom. Many different ways. And some of us. It happens as a result of God. Mine started 
with a God experience, just like the one that we see Hannah Scott go through in the movie Overcomer. And then from there, when I began to realize my own strength and what I could do without the support and the pat on the back of this one and that one, and begin to find my own path and my own purpose, I overcome in a really big way. So take everybody in your house. Like Erin says, she sounds like an LRL. She's, she's from North Carolina. You know, this is my biggest artist there. I'm pretty sure her parents probably watch. So take your hips to the movie house and watch <laughs> the picture show. Overcomer came out last week. This week, second week, let's make it real big. I think I'm going to send some money to my mom and dad in Goldsboro to go watch this movie. I think they'll enjoy it. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. Share right now before you get off. All right, goodbye. Click it off. Bye. See you. Bye. 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 <laughs>